Hello, welcome back to Finish It Friday. Uh, glad to see you back here with all of your finishes this week that you've sent in. And first of all, I'll go over what I have been doing. And as you can see, the wall is full. <laughs> I've been pretty busy this week. I've been uh, trying to get some of the red and white blocks done. And those are fun. I've been uh, kind of kicking it up a notch on those and have gotten several done. I have 12. And the pattern calls for four more before we start putting the sashing on. I still haven't decided how many I'm going to make. Um, at one point I said, well, I'll make it 20 because I have plenty of fabric to do that, I believe. However, our quilt doesn't have to be a bed quilt, does it? So why make it so big? So I'm thinking about stopping at the 16 now. Not that I'm getting bored with it or anything, but I just feel like that might be the practical thing to do. And then while I was gone, I had some subscription boxes come in and I needed to do some blocks of the month out of those. And I had my Nantucket summer and this is February. And then I had also received March. So I went ahead and did March and I can't remember the name of them. I think this one's Lighthouse. Uh, you probably saw on Wednesday the Stack and Whack uh, secondary star block that's going to be going in that quilt if you haven't checked out that series go to the playlist uh, on my channel and you will find uh, all the videos there parts one through four and we're not done there will be a couple more parts to that probably at least one and then the so yeah friends subscription box uh, I have the February done for that and very soon will be arriving the March so I'll be working on that again soon. I even, you can kind of see down here in the corner, <laughs> I've started working on my um, landscape quilt from the retreat again. So um, I have some things pinned in place. I have some stitching done on it. I have the batting and backing on it. Uh, I just still have to do uh, some more some more stitching work and add a few more things to it. Um, it's kind of new for me to, to do this type of quilting, but it's been kind of fun. And before you know it, a lot of time has passed <laughs> while you're working on those. So uh, it, it's kind of fun to work on, but it does take time to kind of figure out where you want everything on there so I think I'll be adding some birds um, maybe a moon I'm not sure I'm just playing with it so there's that that's what I have been doing this week I have a black shirt on and uh, if you look very close at all you will see that I have threads all over it because I've been in here sewing every day this week and that's great that's what i want to do i want to sew some every day because it's good for me and it's good for you so i'm going to go over the uh emails where you sent your pictures in of things that you have finished and i have a few here this one is from giselle and she said two baby showers in the same month this one is for a girl and I call it Dino Drama. It's 50 by 50 and got the idea from my sewing room. Pillow is also quilted and back is same as quilt back. The fabrics really spoke to me. Yeah, I was looking close at the fabrics. It's got little baby dinosaurs all over it. And I, I love the, the creams and um, pink and orange in there and peach. Uh, I love all those together. And your pillow looks great too. Nice. That's a good size quilt for a baby. The next one is from Diane. And she has done a wall hanging. And it's called Tulip Time. And as you can see, she already has it hanging up. She found this fabric in her reorganizing and decided it was her spring wall hanging. And then there's a baby quilt that she did as well for a special new grandson of her husband's cousin so that would be your husband's second cousin probably or something like that um, blue and yellow I love blue and yellow together and that makes a really nice baby quilt has little birds in it 
Love it. Very cute. Then we have some from Carol, who we will now fondly refer to as Sun Painted Carol. She's the one that uh, sun dyes fabric and uses it in her quilting projects. She says, uh, I have a thing for rainbow quilts and this one is one of my favorites. Yes, she has done several rainbow quilts. I love the dramatic look because of the black background. Yes, I do too. Uh, it was super easy to make and I did not need a pattern. <laughs> Go Carol. It was super easy. Yeah, I used a half hexi ruler to cut out the batik fabrics and incorporated the scraps into the borders. It's a large queen, 90 by 96. I free motioned and all over swirl design on it on my sit down long arm. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <sighs> Bragging, aren't you? Not needing a pattern? Wow. It is a repetitive pattern, but look, you've got uh, um, something you had to really think about there, putting that border on and arranging your fabrics in that, that rainbow array. Very nice. Very, very nice as usual. And then Donna sent one. Let's see. This is my support group quilt. Have you heard of that? <laughs> I first seen this on Lori Holt's YouTube channel. I knew I had to make it. My best friend is currently battling stage 4 breast cancer, so this quilt along supporting the National Breast Cancer Foundation touched close to my heart. The fabric line she used is called Flower Farm by Ann Sutton. And she says it was a quick, fun project to sew. And then she said a little bit more. She, hand, she uh, machine quilted it on her Juki 2000 QI. Yeah, you have a really dense uh, quilting on there. Uh, very nice. Cute. I've seen a lot of these on, and made in all kinds of different colors, not just pink. Dolores sent us one of hers. Uh, it is called, or is it called anything? It's panel with a unicorn on it in purple with a wide border and some turquoise. So nicely coordinated there. Someone's going to love that. And then she's also done these uh, bags from a panel. There was eight, and her daughter snatched one, so you only see seven. But you can see she's used some uh, Lori Holt fabric there. And I love that pink one that says, So Vintage, with the pattern ladies on it. That's really, really cute. Love that. And then we have one more from Pam. This is a uh, table runner. It's a sew sampler box project top that she completed. So if, if uh, some of you get the sew sampler box, maybe you've been working on this too. Uh, she made her shorter than the pattern and it still took a while, but it's uh, great practice to experiment with different techniques. And she says that because those are uh, foundation paper pieced uh, blocks there and I love them. I love that scrappy look that it has. Um, I can't remember if you told me that was a line of fabric or if or you were using scraps, but I love how you use the uh, lighters, lighter shades uh, of prints on the outside and then the, um, you know, your darker colors for the actual star shape that that foundation paper piecing made. I love that. Very scrappy and uh, quilty looking. That's just the top, but uh, I love the scissors um, border that you put around it at white on white. I believe those are scissors. That's cute. Your fabric, the way you put your fabrics together is really good. Alright, that looks like it. So keep sending them in for Finish It Friday. Look at the guidelines for sending in photos for the Finish It Friday episodes. And uh, we'll be sure and uh, show your quilt 
and we love to see finished projects whether it be a quilt top a pillow a completed bed quilt wall hanging whatever you got that's in the finished stage we want to see it could even just be a block maybe something you've never done before like foundation paper piecing like Pam did so uh, let us know what you're doing it keeps us all motivated and keeps us uh, wanting to sew every day and uh, I will continue to work on our red and white quilt I should have it done pretty soon here and then we will be back uh, here on Monday for Monday quilt chat and don't forget that uh, Saturday is National Quilting Day. So if um, you don't have a whole lot of time to quilt, maybe you can um, uh, apart that day out for, for, for quilting. And uh, this whole month is National Quilting Month. And uh, we want to do our part and, and do, the, do the quilting that needs to be done. Uh, all the time, but not just this month. So that looks like about it. And I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.